Welcome back to the lab. Uh, today we're going to take a quick look at a fixture I built for testing 2D optics. 2D meaning cut out of a, an acrylic sheet uh, using a, a uh, rifle laser as the light source. So we have a laser over here it can be adjusted so we can get the beam exactly where we want. There is a pivot point right here so that I can put on a, uh, an, opti an optic over here and then rotate it. And over here, there is a guide cut into here so I can put a plate here with a guide rail and I can slide it back and forth in front of the laser beam. So, what we're going to take a look at today is the, you know, the classic experiment here with index of refraction and uh, total internal reflection. So whenever you have two media and you have a light beam going from a material with high index of refraction into a material of low index of refraction, uh, when you hit a certain angle within the material, light will completely reflect off of this boundary and you will get no light leaking out. Now, because these are laser cut and the edges aren't perfectly smooth, you know, you, you get some scattering along the surface, so some light always ends up leaking out. But you'll see the transition in the material or in this disc when it goes from being, uh, you know, just bending the light at this interface to being totally internally reflective. There are graduation marks along the edge of the half disc so we can see when that happens. So let's take a quick look. Let me turn on the laser. Now, Already, we can see, you know, some light is reflecting off, but if you take a look at my hand here, you can see that most of the light is probably making through this interface. Now, when we reach, or as we increase the angle relative to the normal here, you will see that the light will get bent more and more towards this edge. And you can watch my hand as I rotate the half disc that the beam right now is right over here. So it's getting bent pretty much like that. Now, when we reach about 45 degrees, which you can see right here, you can see the 40 and the 50 mark. Uh, the 45 degree mark is blown out on video, but Right now, the light that isn't getting reflected in is actually traveling right along the edge of this half disk. And if I rotate the disk just a little bit more, you'll see that the light on my hand is now, or specifically around my ring, is pretty dim. And most of the light is getting reflected over there back towards the keyboard. So now we're in the totally internally reflective angle range. And for this particular acrylic, that happens somewhere around 45 and 47 degrees. So I think at 46, I can see just a little bit of leakage along the edge. And then when we move just one graduation more, you get very le little leakage coming out of the edge. You always get some, just because the material isn't perfect, so it scatters some light. And as you can see here, the reflection is also scattered because the surface, I don't know if you can see the finish here, but the surface has striation marks on it from the laser. So the light is scattered. Anyway, this is the test fixture. And over here, 
we can see, you know, light going, uh, light going from just be being bent at the interface to being totally reflected at the interface. Anyway, that's it. Thank you for watching. See you next time.